the government says that this uh, same-sex marriage is not compatible with an Indian family unit. Why? Vishnu, as per a renowned legal expert, Mr. Robinson, law is no brilliance. It is simply common sense. Law has to be reflective of the ethos of the civilizational values over the societal delicacies and about the various historical perspectives also. I'll put a very, very simple question. Leave apart same-sex marriages. Can two persons within a spinda relation marry? Maybe one is a boy and other is a girl. They cannot marry. One boy and one girl, they are within that, if they are prohibited by a certain custom or a usage, the Hindu Marriage Act again says this marriage is again a nullity. So, the, we, we want to reflect the basic and the common sentiment. There is a difference between uh, decriminalizing de same-sex marriages and then legitimizing same-sex marriages. India has evolved. India has evolved through a travesty of incest invasions, cultural incest also, cultural invasions also. So, the law which has been framed by the Indian lawmakers and particularly the, constituent, particularly the collective wisdom of the, of the members of the Constituent Assembly, we need to respect, we need to, we need not to, we need not to violate it with such impurity and such indifference. It's not that something says like it and it needs to be reflective of the, the spirit of the law itself also. I'll, I'll just quote one example from the Mr. Allama Iqbal. Allama, Allama Iqbal is the one who subscribed to the two-nation theory. He said, Hey, uh, Ram ke naam pe. I, uh, I'll just send you where from the monogamy came. The monogamy, the, the source is Ramayana. The source is not Mahabharata. The concept of monogamy came from Ramayana. And who recognizes? Alama Iqbal. Hey, Ram ke naam pe Hindu satan ko naas. So, uh, we, should, uh, we should better appreciate, we should better understand. That okay. we should not talk of certain things which seem to frustrate the scheme of things in the Indian society, Indian state, and okay. particularly India. So, Ranbir, and the civilization uh, state also. Ranbir, since you've quoted, let me also quote. You quoted one particular example. Let me quote three separate parts of three judgments in the Supreme Court, which Please. seem to offer a different perspective. Number one, Nalsa versus the Union of India, the Supreme Court held that our constitu constitution protects non-binary individuals and this protection cannot be restricted to male or female necessarily. I mean, it has to, it can be, uh, I mean, it should be either or, right? It's not one or the other. In Puttu Swami versus Union of India, nine judges held that sexual orientation is a facet of a person's privacy, which is a fundamental right under our constitution. Yes. In Naftej Johar versus others, Homosexuals are entitled to the protection of equal laws and are entitled to be treated in society as human beings without any stigma being attached to any of them. These are all examples, Ranbir, of this being a fundamental rights issue. That fundamental right law is for you and me. It is written by our common book. That's the constitution. That's the argument. Vishnu, uh, I, I used a very sweet and a simple argument that there is a sea of difference between decriminalizing and legitimizing. It will destroy the entire concept of, I'll just cite, where will the Domestic Violence Act go? Where will the concept of spinda relationship go? Where will the concept of marriages barred by customs and usages go? So, the laws pertaining to divorce, the laws relating to partition, the laws relating to inheritance, it's a, it's a complete, I'll say, boxing the compass. It amounts to boxing the compass on it. So this is as good as placing a Frankenstein motor uh, monster. This is as good as placing a cat among the pigeons. This is disastrous. I'll use a very harsh word. This is disastrous. Okay. And this is scandalous also. Okay. This goes against the societal norms. This goes against uh, the very facets which constitute the basic of India as a civilization state. Okay.